I've got some NBA action headed your way for this Thursday, October the 28th. The Knicks are taking on the Bulls. Use the new promo code GOAL, G-O-A-L, saves you 20% off the entire Picks and Parlays site. My name is Allie Burns, and this is Picks and Parlays. I've got Sean Higgs with me today to give us the free pick. Higgs, I'm stoked about this basketball game. I'm going to be real honest with you. This one, I think, is going to be a good one. How you feeling over there, friend? Yeah, for a, a Thursday, not a bad one. Sometimes, you know, and and let's be this is thank goodness we got a line for a Thursday night game. Sometimes we have no lines, but yeah, this is probably the better game out of all the ones on a Thursday night here. This could probably be the best game on both sides of the ball. You might have a better team. People want to see the Warriors or whatever, but I think this is going to be a very good game here with the Bulls and the Knicks. We got old coach, old coach versus old team, you know. And, Team, everybody's high on in the Bulls. I'm going to jump right into it. I'm not letting you go. All right. I'm going to... <laughs> I've got lots to unwrap here. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so like I'm, I'm taking the Knicks. And anyone who's watched me, if they, if you know, see my little videos when I do the little midday money show for us here, I'm like a, not a big Nick guy. I'm like I don't like the Knicks at all. Just I got an under for them on the season, this and that. I'm taking them here though. I'm going to take them plus two because I think this is going to be a dog fight. I can see this is one of those games where. Hey, what are you taking two? I just go money line. You think your team can lose by one? All excited. I I can see the Knicks losing by one here. I can see this being like a 99, 98 type game, one four, like a definitely a one point game. And the Knicks, you split with Orlando, right? Bad team. The, the Bulls have played the, the Pistons twice. Not anybody super. It's not like we've seen the the big names come into these guys. Um, I just think this is gonna be a, a close game. And I look at this line. And as a team that in the Bulls, who everybody loves, right? Bulls, everybody's high on the Bulls this year. Bulls, Bulls, oh, sleeper. And this is what they're giving to the Knicks, who's projected to win like 40 games this year. I don't know. Little little fishy to me. Derek Rose, triple double against you know, on his old court. You know, getting it done for me tonight. Derek Rose and the Knicks. Let's go. Bring it back to 2010, your MVP year, Derek, or 2012, whenever it was. <laughs> I'm with this. I've cashed on both of these teams a couple times this season already, but I I am a Knicks person. I know you're not. I miss those days, you know, of Ewing and Starks. I know you hate John Starks, Starks. but I loved him. And, and uh, was it Anthony that Mason? That I love those guys. Listen, don't, I mean, I just didn't like him. I was a Sixer fan. I like Barkley, so I couldn't really like the Knicks. But those, I mean, those were, I mean, Anthony Mason. Anthony Bonner, they had guys who had no business even playing basketball. They were just like, that's hello, 90s basketball. Like, seriously, they were just, hi, just big, giant, bald guys who just hammered people in the paint. You know? I think that was part of the prerequisite to get on the team. It was that just was, basically like calling all big, giant, bald guys. And then that's they, who I remember they brought in X-Men, Xavier McDaniel they had. Oh, I mean, they were a tough team. And Starks, as much as they hate John Starks, that guy – you know, who had a heart like John Starks? You know, because like what Beastie Boys said. That guy would just chuck it. He did not care. Nope, he did Although, not. Of course, of a championship against your Rockets, your Houston team, but <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you like Starks. Thanks for the ring. <laughs> another guy, another team that Charles Barkley played for, yeah. uh, for that matter. Yeah, so I, I'm high on the Knicks this season. I, I dig the Bulls. I get what's going on there also, but give me some points with the Knickerbockers right now, and I'm going to take them. And I agree. Let's kind of shy away from that money line a little bit because this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> you know, this is going to be a shootout of a game. So this is a situation where you want to be on the side that is getting the points. So that's what we're going to do. We're taking two points with the Knicks on Thursday night. It would is bound to be the game of the evening.